Okay. I often get calls from people that watch one of my YouTube videos uh, that try what I tried to do in the video and a lot of the work I put on video is modifications I do to the systems and I alter things around. Yesterday I had a guy that had a DeFi fridge that went faulty. He watched my YouTube video how I repair the automatic defrost system but there was nothing wrong with his defrost system. His compressor was dead. So he spent an awful lot of time modifying the whole system but at the end of the day he still had a dead compressor. So what I told him is you have to test the fridge. I got a phone call just now from a guy that had a fridge that wasn't working properly so he put a line tap valve on and added more gas to the system. So I asked him but why? Why don't you test? Maybe there wasn't enough gas or maybe the gas was dirty or blocked but now you've added more gas so you make the tests more difficult. So before you start putting things in your fridge that you see me do you have to test and find the fault. So all the videos I made, I found the fault, but then I explained on the video how I repaired it. So here's a fridge, a Bosch fridge that came in for repairs. So the first thing I normally do is a visual inspection. You have a look, here's an evaporator plate. People tend to stick holes in it with a knife. Visual inspection, there's no holes in it. The bottom is a cold plate, there's no holes stuck in it. The job, you know, when a fridge comes for repairs, the client normally on the job card will say something, it's either too cold or too warm or doesn't work, but this one has no specifications. So what I did was I plugged it in and I heard a humming sound coming from the compressor, but it wasn't running. Now the compressor behind the fridge I've loosened these now. The compressor has got one of these, they call it a PTC starter. Now it's attached with a little screw here and an overload. So what I did was I actually put a new PTC starter on and uh, uh, I used the existing overload just to test whether that PTC starter is faulty or the compressor. And I'm running it on a test cord and I plugged it in and you still get a humming sound draws a lot of current, doesn't start up, so the compressor is dead. So I've done a test and found the compressor is dead. But sometimes these fridges will develop a gas leak, all the gas will leak out and then it runs with no gas and then the compressor dies. So in order to see whether there's gas in, this is the old R12 system, I just took the capillary, I cut it off with a capillary cutter and I just clamped it off but there was gas in the system so this test reveals to me that the compressor is dead so that's just a basic test i did on the compressor but every single repair you have to test it in order to find the fault